Alright guys, so today I've got a cool video for you. I don't know if all of you have heard or not, but Saijin Mod has kind of turned itself into a company and they've created this uh, utility called Saijin Mod Installer and we're going to go ahead and go through that today. Um, this works specifically on devices that have unlocked bootloaders. I think that's the main devices that they do function on. Uh, to use this installer to install Saijin Mod on your device. So I'm just going to show you really quick what I'm running with right here. This is the Galaxy Nexus, and we'll just show it to you really quick. This is, like I say, Galaxy Nexus right there. This is running Android 4.2.2, and this is the Verizon version, and you can see it's on the latest build number for this device, which is JDQ39. And that's just so you guys can see what we're running. This thing does not have an unlocked blue loader right now. Everything is fully stock, except for it doesn't have a SIM in it right now. Um, so, what you're going to do if you're going to use this utility is you're going to go right here and you're going to download Saijinmon Installer from Google Play. I'll just show it to you really quick. And if we go to my apps, you can see it right there listed on top. That is Saijinmon Installer. So, we're going to go into the application and it says to do a couple things right here. It goes through the directions pretty easily. This is works on right now Windows PCs running Vista or newer. So everything like that should work. This will factory reset your device. So you will wipe all of your data will be gone, all of your apps will be gone. Um, so you're going to want to back up your, um, your pictures and all that kind of stuff on your device. Go ahead and back all those up. So we're just going to hit begin. And we're going to make sure we're plugged in with our USB cable right now. So plug your USB cable into your computer and into your device. I'm already plugged into my computer, so I'm not going to worry about doing that step. Okay. And it went ahead and turned on USB debugging for you automatically. You can see it's right up here on the top. USB debugging connection. So that's really cool that it does that automatically for you. So you're going to hit continue and you're going to turn on the camera PTP. And then click this one. And then it says to go here and on your computer to this address and go ahead and download the Saijin Mod installer so we can install it. So we're going to leave this right here just exactly like it is. And we're going to go over to my computer, put in that web address, download this installer, and go ahead and show you the process for this. Okay, okay guys, so what we've got is right here is the Saijin Mod installer. This is the application from Google Play. And if you go and download the application, I've already downloaded it. It's going to look like this right here. CM installer and you're just going to click on it. You're going to run it and it's going to go ahead and run the program. Um, so, it go ahead and says some stuff about turning off your antivirus on your computer because it might block downloads, things like that. Um, and then you're just going to hit continue and it's going to detect and make sure that your device is connected and it's it should be from here pretty much um, automatic so this says always always allow from this computer press OK so we're we're going to do this on our phone so on the phone we're just gonna click this unlock and right here you just want to push always from this computer then push OK and we'll go back to the computer here Okay, so it has gone ahead and uh, connected and it's now downloading a recovery system and it's going to download all the files for you guys automatically. That is the beauty of this process right here. And as you guys can see, the phone over here is showing that you are connected and you're installing Saijin Mod right here. This comes up on the screen of the device automatically and it's going to stay there until it runs through all of its processes which are quite a few and it will reboot many many times okay guys so you can see it's gone ahead and downloaded all of your stuff it does tell you it's going to factory reset and to back up any data before you start this process any pictures that kind of stuff that you want to make sure do not get erased then you're going to go ahead and hit install and now your device is going to uh, reboot into bootloader and it's going to unlock the bootloader for you here and it gives you directions 
So all you have to do is follow directions, which is to press volume up and down, and then the yes button, which is with power, is going to uh, reboot into bootloader. So we're going to go ahead and go volume up to yes, unlock bootloader, may void warranty, and go ahead and select it with, I think it's with this button, but it might be the touch screen. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. So there you go, and you can actually see on the device now that your status had changed to unlocked on that little bit of section right down there at the bottom. And so from here, that's pretty much all you have to do. From here, you're just going to let this program run. On your computer, on your phone, you're going to see recovery screens like this one right here. Um, and it's, it's very, very simple. You just sit back and let the thing to do, its, do it. That's it. Um, so what I really like about this system is that you don't have to go find the right uh, files to download, the right ROM. You don't have to go find the Google applications to install with that ROM. You don't have to put any commands into any command line to unlock the bootloader. You don't have to flash a custom recovery. It does everything for you automatically through the Sygen Mod installer. It pretty much makes this thing idiot proof. So while this thing is going to run, it's probably going to take 15 to 20 minutes to fully do everything and do all its reboots. I think it reboots like three times. Uh, or you're just going to see the screen reboot three times. Um, so you're going to notice that and and just it's going to go through all of its steps to do finish it and it'll do everything and you'll finally reboot fully. Um, so you saw right there that was kind of a flash reboot, a start of a reboot with the, the Saijin mod guy. Um, but like I said, you're going to see different things on and off and eventually it'll do your Saijin man boot animation and it'll boot up to your um, set up screen. So let's let this thing run and I'll kind of update you as it goes. Alright, so you guys can see we're making some progress over here on our computer right here, uh, which is a good sign that uh, we're finally accomplishing a couple things right here. And operating system waiting for device. So I think you're about to do a reboot over here on the device. Um, and I think this little progress bar on the bottom is going to go through and then you'll see a reboot on this device. You're, it's pretty good. You're over halfway through your process right now. Okay, so that just finished. I think you're going to about to do a reboot. And you see a little side gym mod guy, which is pretty cool. I, I, I wish I had that that exactly that as a wallpaper. That looks really pretty sweet, actually. Um, put your icons on there. That would be a sweet, sweet uh, wallpaper right there. So right now it's uh, sending system applications. So that would normally be your Google applications are being sent over to the device. Um, your ROM's already been actually sent, so we're going to send those. I think it's going to do another little install thing, and you should be wrapping up here pretty soon. There you go. That is the system uh, system apps or the Google applications installing right there. That's the prog progress bar on that, and you should be rebooting again. I think this is actually your final reboot, and actually you can see on the computer over here that we are finishing up. All right, so the computer program has actually finished. Um, the application is still flashing some things in recovery, but everything should be good right here. It says right here, please wait while your device boots. So at this point, uh, you're actually done with the program, so you can go ahead and hit exit. And we're done on the computer. Let's just finish checking out this device. So you guys can see we're still technically here in recovery, but the recovery process is about to finish up. Um, and we should go ahead and boot up the device. Um, once the device starts to boot and you see the boot animation, we're going to go ahead and unplug the cable on the back here, or on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is going to be our official boot. Now you can see right there you have the padlock. That means that the device has an unlocked bootloader and that is a change from when you were running stock. Mm -hmm. Normally you just have the Google right there. Here is the Saijin mod uh, boot animation. So like I said, at this point you're fully flashed, so we're going to go ahead and unplug this cable. There we go. And you can hear my computer kind of clicking on and off uh, as things connect and disconnect there. So this uh, initial boot up here is probably going to take about five minutes, and then we'll go through the setup. So I'm going to pause and we'll come back to it uh, and go through the setup as soon as it boots full. Okay, here we are. Um, so that went ahead and finished booting, so we're just going to go start. We're going to skip this because I don't have a SIM in it right now. And we'll go ahead and log into my Wi-Fi network and connect. And it should be connecting. 
There we go. That looks pretty good. Phone is connected. I'm going to skip through this stuff right now. I'm not going to really get into logging into anything. I can go back and do this anytime later that I want. And this should finish up the process. And there we go. So there you are. That is it. And you have Sygen Mod on your device right now. So we're going to go right in here really quick and just show you that it is still the same device, but that right here you're running Sygen Mod 10.1.2 Toro. Like Toro is the uh, Verizon version of uh, the Galaxy Nexus. And just really quick so you guys can also see you know all your goodies right here under interface this is where you customize and tweak and install themes with theme chooser and all your fun super awesome customization here's where we have super user built into Sygen mod for root access and actually it's even telling you right now that you have updates and you can actually update to a newer build which is going to be this one right here is the newest cm 10.1.3 dash rc2 and you can download that, that and actually do some updates with that also. Um, so that's it, guys. This is like insanely, insanely simple. Um, There's nothing hard about it. You download the app. You follow the directions. You run the program on your computer. You don't have to install the drivers. It just does everything for you. Um, so this is like awesome, awesome work. Big uh, thanks to the Sygen Mod team um, for putting this installer together. This is super slick for the new the noobs and the new people out there learning and trying to figure out how to put this on their device. This works specifically with devices that have, can unlock the bootloader um, and it'll have a compatibility thing when you download the application it'll say it's compatible or not so you'll know if it'll work on your device. This is also in beta so you kind of have to get invited to use the program. If you look online you might be able to do that. I'll put links to some of the information for this in my video description down below. Last thing I want to show you that not only did you get the application, but if you reboot, um, this also flashed a custom recovery for you. So to get the custom recovery, I'm going to turn it. You're going to hold your volume up and down and then power. This is going to get you into bootloader mode. Now this is specific for this device. Different devices get into bootloader mode differently. And then you're going to scroll, scroll recovery mode, and then hit power. And... What happened is this flash, like I said, clockwork mod recovery, and you have a custom recovery. You still have the unlock bootloader there with the padlock, and this is going to boot up into custom recovery. From custom recovery, you can do Nandroid backups. You can uh, factory reset your device. You can flash other ROMs, a new update, whatever you want to do, all from right here through these settings using your volume up and down and your power to select. I'm going to go ahead and just reboot. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys that information as well. Uh, so there you go. That is Sygenmod Installer uh, on the Galaxy Nexus Verizon version. Uh, please, guys, hey, if you got an opportunity, check me out at RootJunkie.com. i got lots of great stuff on there for this device and many, many others. You can follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, on the other side. That is it, guys. Root Junkie out.